Okay, hello everyone. We're going to be talking today about group authorizations in version 9.1, the new version of Business One. This is uh, pretty straightforward stuff, so I don't think we'll take very long. Um, in a moment, we're going to just go through a couple of slides and then I'll take you into the software and I'll show you where you set all this up. So group authorizations is a new thing where you can assign employees to a group. Now, one of the things that's nice about it is you can assign people to multiple groups so that they can pick up permissions from the different groups they belong to. Now, after you assign those users to the groups, you can, if you want, go and fine-tune the individuals and give them more stuff. And the reason you can do that is because authorizations are cumulative. So you define what the group can do, and then you can go and define additional things that the individual can do. Now notice I'm saying they're cumulative, not restrictive. That means that as you assign authorizations, they pick up those additional things that they can do. Um, it will not pick up additional restrictions from the individuals or the group. It's always cumulative, not restrictive. So let me go into the software, and I'll show you what I mean. So group authorizations is in the same place that the other authorizations are. You go to administration, system initialization, and authorizations. The first thing you would do is go into group permission, uh, permissions groups and define your groups. You know, these are would be departments or roles, however they make sense for your organization. And once you get them defined, and adding a new one is pretty simple. You just click Create Group, give it a new name. So, Manufacturing. And add it. 